Hey everybody, this is Marjorie Wildcraft and this is another episode of Adventures in High Performance Gardening. And of all the things that we thought could possibly go wrong, oh by the way, this is Lynn Gillespie. I'm Lynn's, <laughs> Lynn's sidekick. There you go. <laughs> I think I'm your sidekick. I don't know. <laughs> still, I still haven't reviewed that episode when I wasn't here and you answered that question. I did. It's, it's I water know. under the bridge. You know, I'm in these presentations, so I don't actually review them. Uh-huh. And if I reviewed them, I probably wouldn't be doing any more <laughs> of them. I probably wouldn't. You know, but when I see myself on me, I'm like, oh, God. what? A, how there was I? a lot of laughing going in my office today as editing was happening. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so we thought in the very beginning we were concerned. If you remember, if you watched some of the early episodes, we were deer tracks everywhere. There was the possibility of freezes. There's, you know, raccoons and rabbits and there's all kinds of perils. There, uh, there is. There is. Yeah. And you know what the biggest problem we've had so far? This one. <laughs> This is the biggest pest in the garden. <laughs> what did you do? You remember last week how I felt so bad? Well, it was because the week before that we had the kitten reunion and I was having a very good time and Lynn gave me directions to take care of the lettuce plants and then I didn't because I was having a very good time and forgot all about it. And then, so Lynn very graciously replanted the lettuce. Yep, every one of them. Every one of them. And then... <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> hey, I keep watering the rest of the garden. I keep spraying it with the stuff. I'm like, yeah. I burned up the second time of lettuce. So, so. it just goes to show. But I do want to show you all. Yeah. So we have some space to be creative. We have some space. How about if I bring you some transplants next week and we if we put something new in here? We could do it. We could do that. We could totally do and that. And I will like be focused. I promise. <laughs> I'm going to be. I'll bring you bigger plants. That'll be that, easier. That will be. E- it is easier. Because you can go seed. You can go the little transplants, big transplants. The gardens are versatile. They are. But I wanted to show you. I've been doing so. First of all, we've been harvesting like crazy. Well, that's mostly what the work in this garden has been. Yeah, it's harvesting. Isn't that fun? It was like astounding. Like if you go back like week four and five, we were already harvesting. Yep. It was amazing. Yep. So you got my first cukes. So excited. I love cucumbers. And then I wanted to show you, I got those other, um, I got those other cabbages. Whoops. These are um, pickled turnips. Nice. Got a whole bunch of pickled turnips here. And then I made me some kimchi. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you know, I really have been getting into kimchi. I don't know Kimchi's what it is. Good. Yeah. But I turned, um, so I d- d- want to give a shout out to Diane. Thank you so much, Diane, and the Grow Network Forums gave me this recipe for kimchi. And I made it almost exactly, except for that I changed out probably the four main ingredients. Oh, okay. <laughs> So what did you put in yours? Well, you know, it said Napa cabbage. I don't have a Napa. We had those purple ones. That purple were, cabbage, perfect. Was, right, just, just, just almost like Napa. Uh-huh. You know, sort of. And then there were like, you know, I put in carrots and they said, you probably shouldn't put in carrots. You know, I mean, it was kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. It'll still taste good. But I think the main thing is you got to have all those hot peppers and that, that kimchi stuff. And they happen to have that at the local store. They had enough of it that I think oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. Because really, you just want something like your tongue just goes on fire. When you, yeah, you know, kimchi. Oh. Do you like spicy foods? Not at all. You know, I never, <laughs> I never did. But like, I think ever since coming back from Mexico and having that thing with my gut, like I now love spicy foods. So there maybe, you go. Maybe that trip to Me- maybe I'm becoming a Mexican. Is my hair getting darker? Uh, sorry, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not spontaneously erupting into Spanish either, but um, no. you never know. Could be. Maybe more wine. Ah, we could try that. <laughs> After the lettuce has been covered. Yes. After this, the, this is not a problem. We'll just come in with something different, we'll something creative. Something else, yeah. It's Gardens continue. They sure do. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome, though. I mean, the never-ending carrot patch and harvesting mm-hmm. from that. There's almost some of those big squashes are almost ready. Yep. And I've been harvesting Lots um, of tomatoes. broccoli. Yeah. yeah, the tomatoes unfortunately are not getting weighed. There's, there's all kinds of things in your garden. Yeah, and we've been keeping records, so we'll send you records. Yeah, good. Um, 
Anyway, if you got any questions, feel free to drop us a line in the comments, wherever you're seeing this. We do try to monitor all of it. The best places in the Grow Network forums, but I think you're also on your mm -hmm. site. They can do it on our so site, thelivingfarm.org. The, yeah, yeah. And, um, we're going to answer questions. We'll have a Q&A. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So next week. So um, let's find out what Lynn does for me next week. Yeah. And apparently the biggest problem in this garden is... The biggest the, pest. The, <laughs> You're the, the biggest pest. pest. <laughs> it's a good thing. Just spray some bacteria on her. There you go. <laughs> we can try that. We can try that. <laughs> we'll just fill it with kimchi. That'll fill take care of Fill me with kimchi, you. right? Yeah, right. Man, yeah. there's no telling what that's doing to me. Yeah. yeah. It's probably good for you. I bet it is. Yeah. This is Marjorie Wildcraft, Lynn Gillespie. We'll see you on the next week episode of Adventures in High Performance Gardening. <laughs>